Hey, what's going on? This is Dr. Roddy Ferguson. I want to go over something real crucial and important as it pertains to grip fighting lefty versus righty. I want you to listen to me very carefully because I'm going to cover some things as it pertains to space. Uh, just like in boxing in the Kenkaiyotsu situation of lefty versus righty, the left-handed player's left foot is forward and the right-handed player's right foot is forward. Now, even with the feet being forward and the angle being a little bit different, you still have to pay attention to the space. So what you want to do is you want to put yourself in a position, what I call the reach, no reach zone, where it looks perceptively like the person can touch you, but they can't. And if they do touch you, the only way that they'll be able to touch you is they have to step forward in order to touch you, which gives you a good enough reaction time in order to move to the right, left, or shift backwards if you'd like. So what I do is I crouch myself in that space so it looks like I'm in that space, but I'm not. And I have the opportunity to lean back and grab the wrist or lean back and grab the sleeve, which even though if it looks like I, I don't have first movers advantage, I do have first movers advantage because I am essentially baiting the person into the into a false movement, which would then allow me to be ahead in terms of movement tempo as it relates to grip fighting. So I keep myself in a zone where I can essentially touch them but they can't touch me because I create the terms based upon their perceived distance. The next thing is I, I do is I step towards what's called the normal, the 90 degree angle of the body. If you notice, I move my right foot forward and then my left foot. A lot of people make the mistake of moving their left foot and then their right foot. They cross their feet unknowingly and end up getting foot swept. All right. It is important when you step into that zone to make sure that the it's the right foot then the left foot and this particular gripping sequence that I'm showing you the key that you have to pay attention to is the left foot of the righty the left foot of the right-handed judo player who is my son in this case will let you know exactly when you need to cross grip and pull the person to the normal which is the 90 degree angle so we bait them or we reach out and grab their hand in order for them to move back thus call killing the front side hand when that happens I step towards the normal I drag my foot when my when my son squares up by moving his foot back that's when I cross grip and pull towards the normal and then I step out of the box okay watch again watch very carefully all right I kill what's called the front side hand I move ahead in terms of movement tempo or create a what's called a first movers advantage as it pertains to grip fighting he snatches back, I step towards the normal. When I step towards the normal, he moves towards the normal. I drag him towards the normal and I move out again. Some judo players get slick and instead of stepping that their left foot back, they widen their right foot. When they widen their right foot, what we do is we try to gather and and throw the and attack the ouchi right away. If not, we still pull towards the normal.